On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at something pretty fun on an absolutely fitting day with all this snow happening. We're checking out the Salsa Muckluck Deor 11. This is a pretty sweet aluminum fat bike from Salsa. It offers a pretty awesome balance between being sporty and nimble and also being able to be a bike packing fat bike. So we're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this bike. We'll quickly go over the parts spec, and then of course, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So while you're watching this, if you find that you enjoy it, be sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future. So checking out this bike, Salsa claims that this should be a reliable partner to cover ground at your own pace. And I think that's pretty fitting for what this bike is. So it's gonna be made out of a 6066 T6 aluminum frame. It's pretty nicely set up. There's some of the welds are smoothed out, uh, some are not. It's got internal cable routing. It goes to this inch and an eighth to inch and a half steer tube, of course, down to carbon fiber fork. And the geometry on the bike really is set up in a way that it can do multiple things. So this bike is gonna have a seat tube angle of 73 degrees, a head tube angle of 69, and then the chainstay length, which is adjustable using this sliding dropout, goes from 440 millimeters to 457. And those numbers really put this in a spot where it could be a super fun fat bike for even some racing, for all day adventures. And then because of some of the features on the bike, it really is a great option for bike packing as well. And part of where that comes from is on the fork, you can see you've got all these mounts to be able to run front frame bags. You've got a 15 by 150 through axle up front on this carbon fork. And then on the frame, it's gonna have triplicate down tube mounts for water bottles. You've got a seat tube mount for water bottles. And on the underside, you also have down tube water bottle mounts as well. And it's got enough room in the center triangle that you'd be able to set this up with a bike bag if you wanted to. Now on the back, that sliding dropout we talked about, that's a pretty neat feature. It's gonna allow a couple of things. So it's gonna allow you to run all different tire sizes. And in this case, the bike's running these Tanwall 45 North Dillinger 5 tires. These tires are a 26 by 4.6 width. Nice thing is they come studdable, so it's pretty easy to set up. But you'd be able to run this 29er if you wanted to. You could slide that dropout back for a little additional stability. And then because it's got a sliding dropout and you of course have the threaded bottom bracket, you could set this thing up as a single speed if you wanted to do that as well. Now the wheels are gonna be the Mulefoot 80 rims. These are an 80 millimeter internal width rim, 32 spokes to them, pretty nice setup, and of course, tubeless ready, uh, along with the wheels. So with some tape, valves, you could set this up tubeless. And then the drivetrain is gonna be this 11 speed Shimano Deor setup. So this is the Deor 11 to 51 tooth cassette with the 11 speed rear derailleur. It's running through the front to the Samox crank set with a 30 tooth narrow wide chain ring. And then up top, you're gonna have the Deor 11 speed shifter, which is pretty neat because that shifter is gonna have a thumb and index finger uh, shifting, so you can thumb thumb or thumb index. And then you're gonna have the Tektro M275 brakes. These brakes are mineral oil setup, clamping down using a two piston caliper in the front and the rear, post mount, and it runs 160 millimeter rotors, both front and rear. For a saddle setup, this has the WTB Volt saddle, and then a seat post on the bike is gonna be the Salsa Guide seat post. Of course, going to the cockpit, you've got the Guide 35 stem. This is a trail stem, nice and short and compact. And then you're gonna have their 35 millimeter low rise bar. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this bike, let's go ahead and we'll find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Salsa Mukluk Deor comes in and weighs 31.97 pounds. 
So thanks for watching this video on the Salsa Mukluk Deor. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this Salsa Mukluk bike. Where would you take it? What kind of snow would you ride it in? All those great things, I can't wait to find out. Well, thanks again, and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already.